Guess where we are now? Chiang Mai. And a lot has happened since the last video. You saw that Zelda, bless her, had a breakdown. Her brakes stopped working. I wasn't sure what happened. We put her on a truck in the mountains and we got really lucky and we found some incredible accommodation. And this morning I woke up and I enjoyed breakfast by the river. I had another lovely hot bath. Just an incredible contrast between a really stressful situation immediately resolved and we landed in paradise and this morning I woke up we went for a drive me and the man who helped pick up Zelda and we drove for about 15 kilometers outside of the mountain to a village where we found a mechanic it's one of the best mechanics I've ever been to there was a woman who spoke English and she had a little radio and she was communicating with people all around it was a really big professional place and they kind of just laughed me out of that place to be honest I said oh my back brake snapped it's not working and they tested it and they said it's working it's fine they said the back brake is a disc brake the front brake is an ABS brake and apparently when brakes get hot on this type of bike on these types of brakes they just overheat and they stop working and she said yeah you just need to give it 10 or 20 minutes to cool down and then it'll start working again <laughs> So I learned something new. I didn't snap my back brake. Zelda didn't break down. Her back brake just overheated and all I needed to do was wait it out, but never mind. Okay. We gotta go pick up Zelda because she's had some new parts installed and a little, she's had a little bit of maintenance work. So that's why I'm not on Zelda right now. So before we can go properly explore Chiang Mai, let's go pick her up. Right, let's hope she's ready. Oh, here she is. Aha, looking good, looking good. Let me show you. So tell me, do you guys notice the difference? What's the new part of the bike? Have a look. I'll give you a clue, it's at the front. And then, yeah, you might have guessed, it's these crash bars, these black crash bars. So they should help if I do roll the bike or drop it, it should protect the bodywork a little bit. It also just looks nicer. Uh, I like the black. I got rid of the silver ones and we've put on these black ones. They are from K-Speed, so I got them posted up here to Chiang Mai. And what we had to do as well was there's an engine guard underneath and that was silver. That, that came silver as stock, but we've spray painted that matte black to match the new crash bars and the overall aesthetic. Ideally, I'd love to have the whole engine black, but I don't think you can paint it. We've moved the bottle holder, the water bottle holder to the outside, which is a lot easier to get hold of as well, which is good. Now that we're in Chiang Mai, there's only one thing that we can do when we're hungry, okay, because I'm kind of starving, and it's already 11 o'clock. Let's go get some cow soy, and I know the best place to get it, so let's go. So on the way to the cow soy, let me show you a couple of the benefits of these new parts here on the engine guards so you can see that it's a little bit more easy for me to reach my water now that's a that's one thing and the second thing is if you look down i can actually raise my legs and rest them like this over the bars which is gonna come in handy trust me on these two hour plus three hour four hour five hour days what happens is, in this position, where my knees are at 90 degrees, they get sweaty and it gets quite uncomfortable. And I always have to click my, click my knees out. And it's, yeah. But now I can like put them up, like Harley Davidson style. <laughs> um, it's not the safest, because obviously I have a foot brake that I need access to. But yeah, when I'm like cruising on a highway and I know I've got, you know, safety in front of me, distance and whatever I can just pop them up and happy days mind the dog 
and another advantage is there's a lot more grippage for these kind of things you see this this is a GoPro mount that I broke but I did buy a cheap second second one see this one um, and what I can do is I can clamp my GoPro onto these much easier and get a nice angle I do immediately regret buying a cheap one by the way because it's already really easy to just come off I mean guys if you're gonna start a, a YouTube channel I know it's really tempting to buy cheap but don't buy cheap there we go now there's millions of places for me to there we go so there's millions of places for me to clamp this on this bike but just for the sake of this shot here if I show you and now we've got a nice dynamic angle where you can see in front of us like this and then when I want to turn right <laughs> so now you can see as we turn it just gives you a nice angle of Zelda and the road ahead and the noisy minivan overtaking us And if I wanted to be silly, I could use this like a, a selfie stick, but we're not going to do that. Um, I am going to be throwing this cheap plastic mound that I bought in the bin. It is rubbish and I will be getting a new GoPro one as soon as I can. But uh, anyway, that's another use of the engine guard. So let's go get some cow soy. <laughs> You can get incredible cow soy everywhere in Chiang Mai, but this place is one of my favorites. I think it has one of the best selections of cow soy anyway. On the menu, you can get cow soy chicken, which is traditional, but you can also get it with beef and pork here. And then they have a bunch of other different types of noodle dishes, and they're all really delicious. Um, and then they have really nice cold drinks here. Um, I especially like the roselle juice because the roselles grow wild in Chiang Mai and you can never go wrong with cow soy, let's be real. Um, and the one that I like the most here is the beef. You get really nice chunks of tender beef in this cow soy and then you get all of the usual goodies and then once you season it to your taste with a little bit of lime and some roasted chili flakes, you're good to go and you have a big bowl of sloppy egg noodles in coconut curry soup with chunks of soft tendon beef yes please and what is it how much does this cost i think it's 50 baht for this and the drink so good one of my favorite meals in the world cow soy in chiang mai and cow soy mei sai one of the best delicious yummy 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 cow soy now here's the exciting news I've got some friends and a loved one coming to visit me right now flora and notes are in town they are actually on a road trip as well but they're driving a car and you know sometimes you've just got to leave Koh Samui and spread your wings and that's what they've been doing and so we're gonna meet up with them and Miss P my girlfriend is flying in from Bangkok so I've just got to nip to the airport and pick her up. She's going to stay a couple of nights. And so I'm going to pick Miss P up. We're going to go meet Flora and Note. And we're going to go somewhere for a cute double date.
that is a really fun little place to go on a double date for sure. Now, Flora and Notes and Miss P, they're gonna go off and have some ice cream and some cow soy because they got a little bit jealous when I was talking about how good it was at Maysai. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take us up to the top of the mountain because right here next to the zoo, if you keep going up the road, you get to Doi Sutep and Wat Sutep, the temple on top of the mountain. One of my favorite temples. It made my top 10 temples um, in Thailand, if you remember that video. So let's go up, let's put Zelda through her paces. This will be a really cool practice for heading into Pai and other areas of Northern Thailand later. So let's see if she can make it up there, bless her. I've got a little bit of a tradition. I come up here now and again and I leave a little bell. I'm not Buddhist, I'm not religious, but I quite like the idea of having a bell up here and you know, you find a little branch on one of the trees and you leave a little message. I have one for my family up here and now I have one for Zelda. And because Miss P is now in town for a couple of days before I continue towards Lao, Oh, she just wants to come and hang out. I think actually secretly she just wants to eat cow soy. So <laughs> I'm going to take a couple of days off filming and just hang out in Chiang Mai with her. But the next time you'll see me, we'll head towards Shangdao. Here's a little sneak peek 
of where we'll be staying and what we'll be doing. And as you know, Shangdao is one of my favorite places in Thailand. It's the third highest mountain, still inside the Chiang Mai province, but it's about an hour and a half drive north. And then after that, we'll head towards Pai as a, for a little detour, a little bit of fun. And then we'll head towards Chiang Rai and eventually cross into Laos on this little mini repositioning tour, road trip, whatever this is. I'm not quite sure, but I'm having fun filming it. I'm having fun making it. And I hope you're having fun enjoying watching them. Anyway, I'm gonna take a couple of days off and enjoy myself with the missus. See you in Shangdao.